Gotta let that sunset. You can't see nothing with the glare on this camera. Beautiful sunset, folks. Going down over that mountain, watching it through them palm trees. Yeah. I'm gonna be cooking tonight in the lodge. 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker made in the USA. Uh, just over these open coals because I want to get it nice and hot. I usually cook with that induction burner and don't get it hot enough. So tonight I'm going over the fire. And hopefully, uh, speed up the cooking process, folks. Hey, I want to thank you for joining me on my tonight's cooking show. And I'll be filming on the GoPro because uh, I just didn't feel like setting up the big camera and the whole uh, setup. Thanks for joining me. Just a matter of minutes after I did that last clip. That sun goes down over that mountain. And it's just some kind of beautiful. Already got a tune out of this trombone. Folks, just want to say a quick thanks to everybody for uh, subscribing to my channel. We're at 21,500 subscribers. Getting new subscribers every day. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. We certainly appreciate well, it. Guys like me, my generation don't understand. How can you take fucking Kid Rock, who is a legend, an absolute legend, and you come to YouTube and the guy's only got right over a million followers? That's a fucking legend right there. And you got these fucking Call of Duty shitheads with fucking 8 million subscribers because they fucking play video games and film themselves playing fucking video games, eating goddamn Cheetos on the couch in their mother's basement. That's a fucking legend. That dude right there ought to have 20, 30 million fucking subscribers. I don't get it. Now you folks are making chicken and rice. In the lodge, cast iron, combo skillet, chicken, cup of rice, uh, thing of pure milk, tomatoes, uh, onions. Let's see, what we got? A little okra in there. We got, damn, she brought three chicken cubes. They love these damn chicken cubes. All right, I'll, I'll oblige her on the chicken cubes. They're not too bad. A little bit of butter, but all this shit is going down into my uh, cast iron skillet here. And a little salt and pepper too. Get my gloves on. Here we go. Here we go. Nice fucking hot coals there. Oh shit. Shit popping. Look, it ain't rocket science. We're just putting this cast iron right there. Right there over them coals. Because if you if you try to put it over the grate, it's just so heavy. Let's put it right there, kind of even her out. Let it heat up. And it's gonna heat up quick. So again, so we're going with right there. A little bit of okra. And it's gonna be chicken and rice, a creamy chicken and rice. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let me turn the temperature up. Let me show you how to turn the temperature up right here. That's how you turn the heat up right there. Don't worry about it, it ain't hurting that cast iron, folks. All you gotta do is just heat it up. And I hope this ain't gonna burn the, the GoPro down. Might have to back it up a bit. Thank you for that fresh rum and coke, baby. Look at that, folks. And I'm not drinking out of my Yeti cups because sometimes I got this one little glass and sometimes I just like to drink out of this. Reminds me of when I was back in my last house in Atlanta. Had some glasses like that. Me and my old man used to sit out back, drink Jack and Coke, rum and Coke, smoke cigars. Oh yeah, that's what I'm getting the heat to it. Doing a little gangster lean, but that's okay. All right, let's see what let's see if we can get a tune out of this trombone. You know what? I hate to throw all this butter in here, but at least I can judge how hot it is. Oh yeah! Look at that. We already cooking with grease. Mm-hmm. 
here we go, my friends. In goes the chicken. I ain't fucking around. I don't know if you can see that or hear that. I got to back the GoPro up just a little. But that's, that right there is cooking over, cooking over charcoal. Cooking over charcoal. So let's get that buttery chicken going on. Heat this up a bit. I'll tilt it like that. I'll tilt it that like that, give you a better view. All right, let me turn up the temperature. Let me turn it up just a little bit. A little tiny grill. Anytime you do stuff like that, it just chokes out the coals. Get a little ash in there. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. From the ground up. Five second rule on that spoon. Yeah. All right, now that chicken will cook. Just let the heat catch up with it. Once it catches up, we'll get that chicken all browned up. Check that out. I got that chicken going. We'll turn the heat up on it. We are cooking. Cooking with grease, my friends. Oh yeah. No time like the present, right? In go to okra. Then goes the onion, tomatoes, and them three uh, cubes, chicken cubes. And we are on the way. Just give that a little stir right there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. All right, let me turn the heat up. Simmer that for a bit. All right, so I, I heat it with some water. And I'm about to throw the rice in there. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let this heat up just a little bit and then I'm gonna throw the rice into it. I'm gonna throw the lid on there. And all I'm gonna do is maintain the temperature. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, and it looks. I need, I need to get this rice over on board. That's a lot of rice. Um, okay, no time like the present. That's a lot of rice. I probably should have put half of that. But you know what, folks? When we when we cook, we share food around here. Everybody shares food. So if I cook too much food, it's not going to waste. We're going to share it, and we're always sharing food back and forth. So that's why I'm not scared to go go big on a dish. It's not like we're living alone in some island and we're wasting food. Uh, we do a lot of sharing of food over here. All right, so once that gets once that gets done cooking, I'm gonna hit it with the milk, and depending on how thick it is, I may hit a little bit of flour, another stick of butter, and I'm gonna butter it up, and it's gonna be some kind of delicious, I promise you. The lid on there, see that large lid? Thing doubles as a as a uh, Dutch oven. I could put some coals on the top if I wanted to, but I don't think I need to. I'm just gonna keep these things hot, keep them going. Maybe add a few more coals. They just wait it out, folks. Yeah. Assessment of uh, Friday night here. <clears throat> now, I didn't go out today. I stayed home, it's Friday. And as I said on my previous videos, it's been progressively quieter and it's been locked down more. But, let me check out them coals. Tonight is a Friday night, and the people have said, fuck it. I saw some dudes come all going with a basketball, going to play basketball. There's people out on motorbikes, people hanging out. You know, after being cooped up all fucking week, it's Friday night, the, the population is out and about. They, kids out walking the streets, ain't nobody over here yakking them. That's just it. You can't, you can't keep us fucking locked up can't do it maybe if you're in china living like fucking hostages and fucking animals because of the goddamn communist party they can do shit like that but people who are used to being free you can't fucking keep free people down they're not gonna do it yeah they'll play a game for a f few days and they're like fuck it it's friday night we're going out i'm playing fucking basketball i'm gonna get some fucking food i'm gonna ride my motorbike that's what's happening tonight now this is cooking now this some bitch is hot. Don't touch that one. This one's hot too. Shit. When you put cast iron over fire, folks, it fucking gets hot. Check that out. 
Holy shit, that thing is cooking like a champion. Still got plenty of water, nothing sticking. It's kind of doing a little gasoline on them coals. But I, that shit right there is rocking on. Um, I want to add a little bit of milk right now. No time like the present. Add milk as we cook, as we go along. It'll, I'll cream it up even more. I don't want to. Oh shit! I definitely want to make sure it don't damn stick. I don't want nothing sticking on the bottom. I don't like it sticking. Don't let it get too dry. Whatever. Oh yeah. Let's see that rice. Shit, sorry folks. I'm, I'm stirring with one hand. I got a GoPro in the other. Fucking many talents. And look, this live 3.2 quart, the the, uh, the lid doubles as a skillet. If you ain't seen my review of this piece of gear, it is a great piece of gear. Yeah. All right, let me go back to fanning my coals. See if I can get this thing to stop doing the gangster lean to the left. Check it. Shit will be hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, my ass. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Fucking doing a gangster lean on me. Whoa. Whoa. Shit. Now it's getting. I got to put the camera down. Fuck. Folks, check that shit out. It's absolutely beautiful. But some jackass over here, way across Times Square, is over there fucking grinding. Who the fuck waits to goddamn Friday night to start fucking grinding, man? Stop that shit. You're fucking up my damn music. And I can't hear my sizzle. Fucking invasion of these goddamn bugs that just came in here. I couldn't even lift the lid off to do any stern. Fucking like, first time I've ever seen bugs up here. This fucking invasion of these motherfuckers. Damn. There's one right there. Some fucking wing fucking critters. You bastards. Get the hell out of here. Fucking cooking. There's one, there's one more right there. I don't know where to come from. So when, when you put too much in there and you put it on the coals and they ain't even, it'd be a hell of a cleanup job. But this shit is going to turn out damn delicious. It is. I didn't put no flour, no corn, corn starch, no nothing. What you got to do is just time it right with the amount of rice and the amount of liquid because that rice is going to soak that shit up. And folks, this, oh my God, this is going to be a masterpiece. It is almost ready, but I'm going to let it simmer a little bit longer. Just let these coals go out naturally. Put the lid on there. Let the rice finish, uh, you know, soaking the goodness into it. Soaking the, oh my goodness. Because that rice got cooked in milk. Oh my goodness. These ladies ain't going to know what hit them tonight, folks. They ain't going to have no clue as to what, what I'm about to throw down on their table. Because they always want rice. And, you know, I cook different dishes. Well, this is motherfucking chicken and rice and everything nice. All I got to do... Dip my finger down in there and it'll be complete. It'll be sweet. This dish is perfect. The, co the coals are still going a little bit, but this dish is too perfect for me to let it go. It's getting so thick that if you if you let it go when it gets thick, it's gonna stick. And this thing is obviously full. I can't put no more milk in here to keep it going. So it's 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 done. This is gonna be some of the best chicken and creamy chicken and rice soup that these chicks have never tasted in their life i'm so excited but i wanted to go ahead and take it off of there because it's not sticking ain't nothing stuck so far i don't want it to stick so i just put it on my homemade chopping block you can't kill that motherfucker just like you can't kill this large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker made in south pittsburgh tennessee no this isn't a sponsored video Yes, I like their fucking products. And I like the fact that it's made in, in Tennessee. It's made in America. You can get them here in the Philippines on Lazada. But Lazada ain't running right now because of the Chinese uh, bat research virus. A fucking world lockdown that we find ourselves in. Once they lift this, you can go on Lazada if you're here in the Philippines. And you can order this from the Lodge flagship store. Legitimate products. 
I, I talked to the to the factory in Tennessee. They said, hell yeah, we got an authorized distributor. So I'll put the link down in the description to uh, the, uh, I'll put the Amazon affiliate link. So if you order it, you can make me a little commission. I appreciate it. But if if it were me, oh shit, that's so much is hot. One, two, three, go. Woo! Ooh, Paness. All right, so if it were me, to be honest, I would order this directly from Lodge. You know, once the fucking world hits the play button and gets off this fucking bullshit panic mode about everything, it's not fucking necessary, in my opinion. Uh, you know, once once life goes back to normal, I want you to order some shit from Lodge because it's a great product. You're going to love it. And that shit's made in America, whether you're here in the Philippines or you're listening to my voice from the U.S. And you tell them that Marcos told you about this shit. Because that motherfucker right there just made the best chicken and rice in the history of chicken and rice. If Gordon motherfucking Ramsay was here, he would goddamn start crying because he ain't never tasted nothing this fucking beautiful before. Okay? Alright, folks. There you go. That's the finished product. The consistency. And again, didn't put any flour, cornstarch, anything to thicken it up. What thickens it up is that rice. That rice acts as flour and thickens it up. So look at that. Look at how thick that is. My goodness. So Forrest G's going to take a bite of this. Old lady going to see if he likes it. All right, Forrest G, let us know. Let us know if it's any good, man. Bite. You already got four bites? Yeah. Well, folks, looks like it's Forest G approved. And let me take a bite of my own creation right here. Mmm. And, folks, you don't need anything to go with this. I mean, you could put it, put something with it, but th this is a dish that stands alone. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Folks, that is absolutely delicious. The three chicken cubes were necessary and the entire thing of milk was necessary. Oh my goodness, chicken and rice and everything, nice. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, you see a little graphic down there. Right now it's an overstay road sign. Maybe next week I put a picture of my face. I don't know, but smash it. And then some shit's gonna pop up that says subscribe and then there's gonna be a bell. Click that bell, cause I don't have a production schedule. I post videos whenever I'm sober, sober enough to do so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.